one of the things that, that I admire so much about the men and women of our military is that they are willing to lay down their life for their friends and for their country. They live for something bigger than themselves, and so do priests, that they are willing to lay down their lives for others. So the connection between service in the military and service as priests, to me, makes abundant sense. And there really is the opportunity for a union with Christ that is unique, that doesn't happen outside of military service, which, by the way, uh, St. Augustine called the vocation to charity, because you, as a service member, you do put your life in the generous service of others. The Archives of Boston has traditionally been one of the leading top one or two dioceses in providing priests for military service. And that's related to two factors. First, the generosity of our bishops, who see beyond the borders of, of the Archdiocese of Boston. They realize that, that young men and women from the Archdiocese of Boston are serving all over the world. And second, we have a great history and tradition of, of priests who have loved serving in the military. And so that's passed on from uh, to peers and to friends and to generations. And so other priests hear how great the need is and how fulfilling it is to minister in the, in the military. So those two factors in Boston have resulted in hundreds of heroic priests serving in our military through the years. The role of, of the military chaplain uh, is so consistent with the role of the priest in the everyday parish life, and that's to be a visible sign of the holy Having God there, the visible presence of the chaplain, uh, makes our faith come alive, that God is with us no matter what, and God's holy presence, that caring, nurturing, guiding presence is always with us. And one of the great things about a chaplain is that you're allowed to go anywhere and everywhere where the troops are. The troops know it's not about evaluation, it's about making a caring presence visible, a listening ear. And you don't have to make a phone call, you don't have to walk over to the chapel, but the chaplain is there searching you out. How are you doing today? And that's where uh, many of our priests are heroic uh, in terms of putting their life on the line uh, to bring the sacraments to our troops. Getting on helicopters, going through in Afghanistan, going through very dangerous terrain let alone very dangerous terrain where people are firing on you. And uh, some priests in Afghanistan are celebrating six or eight masses at a time in a day, going from one site to another uh, to be with our troops. As a Catholic priest, when the people of the Archdiocese of Boston, when the Archbishop supports my presence in, uh, of ministry with the troops, what I know that means is we're all the body of Christ. Each and every single one of us are important and we need to be of service, sacrificial service to one another.